Team of the season live leaks have begun. And every time I say live leak, I think of uh, things I don't want to think about. Uh, if you know, you know. And uh, Fut Champs matchmaking broke. I don't know. There was like a 24 hour stretch where Fut Champs matchmaking was horrible. <laughs> you basically didn't know even if you won, if the game would actually back out and have you get the win. Uh, it was just a total mess. It seems like it's kind of being fixed now as time has gone on. There's less and less reports of it. EA tweeted nothing out about it, by the way. Like I said before, I mean, God only knows how this happens and i said yesterday that i'm like i'm not even sure if god knows i think he's sitting there like i don't know don't ask me yeah so there was that and we've got like a bunch of team of the season news to go and talk about today the upgrade paths for tots live now are leaked as well we'll go and look at that so lots to talk about thank you for the overwhelming support as always if you guys want to buy coins you can go to mmoxp.com the link is in the description use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount and new showdowns just keep dropping by the way uh and and once again some of these look pretty good like nordy mukiele looks pretty good you've got uh not eric dyer here but you've got trossard he looks pretty good too you gotta remember here as well i mean uh team of season starts in a week right tots lives confirmed to be this friday this whole week is one big giant ploy for you to try and get rid of fodder before team of the season so we're gonna see probably a lot more players being released we're gonna see icons being released i'm assuming here we're gonna see a bunch of everything just because they want to try and drain your club before team of the season so just remember that before you put a bunch of stuff into anything at the moment because that's all kind of a uh, big facade because in in two weeks time there's gonna be a plethora of options better than these cards that will be pretty cheap let's begin with the tots live leaks right this second we'll talk about the the uh, upgrade path after that rafinha is our first card leaks now i must say there's a few cards in here that people are very questioned about or sorry about what i say it very uh it's very questionable picks if they're performance based i have no idea if this is performance based or not or if it's just a promo before team of the season that takes place of community team of the season i have no idea so rafinha is in it but there's a couple of players that are kind of like uh do they deserve one i'm not too sure we got Alan St. Maximin in the promo. I must say, I maybe I don't know Ball. I have no fucking idea what he's done in the Saudi League. I have no idea. Maybe he's got 20 goals and 38 assists, or he's got two goals and one assist. I would not have any idea between the two. But we all know he's probably going to be very good. The stats are not confirmed on these players, by the way. They are just predictions. We've got Bruno Fernandez. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I, I'm assuming seeing Bruno here, it's not performance-based. I know Bruno's had, like, obviously he's a good player. Like, everybody kind of knows that. But I don't know if, if he's necessarily been good enough to be a team of the season level player this year i think most people can probably agree with that so my guess is like don't read into the players themselves i'm assuming performance based was gonna start here probably next week after this live team of the season now and i wouldn't really focus on the player selection here for this one i think they're probably picking players that they just kind of want to throw in that won't get in the team of the season like bruno's a pack seller who won't get in team of the season right they kind of know that so they're gonna put him in this and that's kind of what it seems like once again stats are just a prediction there jordan mcgen is leaked as well and he's been very deserving of one so i i do agree with this one probably can make it in the team right maybe this indicates we won't see uh, an extended team if mcginn's not in it i i may be reading too much into that i have no idea but mcginn's in it lucas vasquez is in it he'll be a very good kind of like box to box midfielder four three two one type role fullback going forward for sure there muhammad kudus is in it as well and he's gonna be a pace merchant i think these cards will have three play style pluses if i had to guess because the upgrade path we'll see in a sec does not include another play style plus so probably starting with three is my guess Otamendi is in it as well for you uh, Benfica fans out there. A few more here. Wilfred Zaha is going to be in the team also. I'm not familiar with how he's done in Galatasaray. So if anybody knows out there, let me know if Zaha has been good or bad or great for you. And Kapie is in the team also. Uh, a super high pace center back. Almost always his promo cards are Jeremy Doku. So Doku will be in it as well. He's going to be probably one of the most expensive players in the promo itself so look at the upgrade path now and this is what it looks like so apparently uh you know ac foot trader who's like kind of like honestly taking the spot of foot sheriff now is like the main leaker i think i don't know if there's some sort of like uh top 10 anime betrayals happening here with the ea employee that's now leaking to this dude instead of foot sheriff but anyway he says now tots warm up daily SBCs, icons and upgrades so he's thinking is going to be icons i'm assuming he's got like some real information on that we should see icons this week and then friday is tots live so this is what it starts looking like here campaign start just the base card then they have the two wins the next four league matches so just two and four should be relatively doable
doable for most clubs to be honest with you and then we also have eight goals in the next four league games which also it feels like it kind of is doable too so they really both are fairly doable in terms of the upgrades so i'm assuming most cards would end up with at least plus one and if not plus two and this guy replied and said so Toss community basically got replaced with this he says looks like it but can't confirm so he's got no information on the uh, community team of the season it looks like the live tots has taken the place of that one because actually very recently there's been two extra players added that i didn't see because you know this is 50 minutes ago from when i'm recording this video this actually came out kai havertz is going to be in tots live as well so a couple more players added here and kai havertz is a pretty deserving player as well to be in team of the season so havertz is in and then one more player added here is luka modric so that's pretty cool that modric and havertz are also going to get cards in this team so i don't know maybe it is performance based you know i, I mean maybe just bruno fernandez ended up in i'm not sure maybe maybe i'm being too harsh on bruno i don't know but uh let me know what you guys think in the comments because is he is he am i am i just I've got my hater goggles on or was he not very good this year i, I don't know also kind of crazy that these come out in basically a week i mean it's like five days uh over five days and we now know like 10 players from the team already which shows you leaks are back and better than ever uh and then you know obviously i think most of us probably wouldn't like that some of us do it is what it is but also ea just didn't tweet out about the fut champs issues they just said nothing uh disconnects were happening all over the place people were stuck in loading screens after games people had like five dc losses this weekend you heard nothing okay nothing happened so I, apparently things are better now so if you want to play champs you probably can but it's just like it's it's i don't know i don't even know what to say about it least hectic ea server day it, that's all i gotta say and a lot of people were also talking about like a crazy market rise right now some cards are up huge at the moment because hey another week till tots right people don't really have anything to do they're buying cards again because why not and to be honest with you i'm not surprised by this whatsoever i think that this is just very very short-lived i think like this weekend you want to get out on cards if you haven't gotten out yet you get out this weekend your last chance we saw the same thing last year there was a week before team of the season where the market went like up pretty high and then it was that first week at Lever team of the season the market kind of stayed at that point right after that it dropped again because once there becomes three play style plus players that are they might even be in kind of like worse leagues that are sort of cheap at all that's when you see crazy drops in the market and we're gonna see that relatively soon so whenever that happens you just want to be out of cards by that point is kind of uh what i'd say if you bought 86s and 87s they're up like a thousand each so congratulations i would probably hold on a little bit longer for them to see if they keep rising i'm down to hold all the way until probably tuesday to be honest with you if you want to keep holding them i don't see them really moving much up until you know before we get rivals rewards for sure and i still think 84s and 85s could keep rising i still do think that let's read my beautiful subscribers comments sinful says love being from australia where the content time is 4 a.m and i can't take advantage of ea's mistakes that they have been making it constantly it sucks but i think if they mess up they need to keep it there and accept their mistake and not let a certain amount of people take advantage of it uh, unfortunately that's probably not going to happen but this is a beautiful this is a beautiful side effect of their mistakes is they just create more fomo now are you more inclined to be on a content time for 4 a.m i know 4 a.m is crazy but say for some people it's like 8 a.m right or say it's 3 p.m even though they're still at work they're more inclined to be like hey what's going on at this time so i can like see if there's a mistake happening or what's going on let me check twitter let me do this it it really just is a perfect mistake for them it's, it's a perfect blend of like hey we drop good content great and if we fuck up we're just creating that fomo in their heads so why why really bother trying to stop our mistakes too much because we kind of just end up with a win-win situation so you know nba solo then can I be in the next video? No, you cannot be. Lazio says suggesting people consistently wait to complete SBCs and open packs is just bad advice and does not follow logic whatsoever. When you get lucky in this game, it comes totally randomly. You enjoy the game the most during these peaks. You don't abstain from opening packs for weeks on end because then you see what happens collectively as a community when people don't pack the promo cards that they've so desperately been saving and hoping for. And um, I mean, I guess there's a couple things with this. The first thing I would say is that like when you say here, when you get lucky in this game, it comes totally randomly i mean it does right it, it comes totally randomly but why would you not spin the wheel more often uh when there's more things in packs it's kind of like saying well there's nothing in packs like right now uh, so I'm just going to open them now because when I get lucky, I get lucky. But it's like there's different levels of luck. And like, yeah, you could say at any point 
in anything. If I get lucky, I get lucky. I mean, I guess it's kind of like you're not really saying a whole lot. You might as well take the spin of the wheel, even if you think the odds are less when like more uh, better cards are in packs, right? You might as well wait till then because then you at least have upside, right? Does that make sense? And I am kind of a proponent of like, yeah, when you get lucky, like you can't, you're, it's just going to happen. You don't really know. But saving packs is really, I mean, I would just rather open more when I could possibly get something rather than open more when it's like there's not really much in packs but i'm maybe more likely to get like a decent couple of informs like i don't know it just seems like you might as well wait and spin the wheel more times when there's more things in packs right i mean does that make sense hey guys uh, someone George, George type happy birthday again. And Joe, uh, sleepy Joe. All right, I, I'm i sorry you fell for it again, okay? Someone falls for it every day. Somebody stop us, man. He's getting fuck, he's getting hella upvotes a day. We gotta stop us, man. Anyway, thanks for watching. I love you. Let me know if you're excited for tots or if you don't give a shit. I will see you next video. Peace.